Hi, welcome to X's and O's with Leroy Butler. We are going to look at one of the best blocked <laughs> runs I've ever yeah. seen. And this is really um, exemplary of how the Cowboys run the football. Yeah. And man, this is, you call this a Bill Callahan special. Bill yes. Callahan was the former Wisconsin Absolutely. offensive line coach. Yes. And boy, he, come, he can design some plays. Yeah. So what you're going to see if you uh, look at our diagram here, our um, screenshot, is... Uh, a three wide receiver set. The guy in the slot is going to come down and essentially what you're going to see are the two tackles pull. And I think we right. have that diagram of that too. You'll see here. They're, yeah. How often do you ever see two tackles Very pull? rare. You see tackle guard, what we call a TG, but not a TT scheme. And you have to be very athletic to do that. Right. But you also have to have guts enough to call it, especially with a wide receiver cracking on a defensive end. So we've put these guys, these three linemen in red. And yes. I'll, I'll do the two guards and then you can show what happens with the center, I'm sorry, with the t two tackles. Right. So um, first, this tackle comes out here, right. and he'll make a really key block here at one yep. point. And then this guy's going to slide through here and make a key block over here. Yep. Okay, and then why don't you show what this guy does and then how well, everybody Wisconsin's reacts. Well, Wisconsin's own, one of your favorite players, uh, the center there. Travis <laughs> Frederick. Yeah. I, I really want him to be the Packers, but I'm going to let that go. When this guy comes down like this, Tom, and walls this, uh, that's the key block. Yeah. Because if he doesn't make this block, that toss, which comes from Romo there, it's a dead duck. But he makes a pretty good block. Now, the key to this, and that is so, you know, good about it, is that you get these guys out like this to set what we call almost look like a wall. Mm -hmm. And we got a diagram of that that Bill's going to put up. Yeah. And to me... Next thing you know, everybody starts to come down what we call these zone blocks, and you're cutting off these guys. They're just cutting off guys, and now the defensive backs are like, well, wait a minute, what's going on? And they come all the way over here to cut these guys off. Yeah. And next this thing you know, had, you have an alley. This guy had come over here, <laughs> yeah. and so he comes over and blocks him. It's unbelievable. Frederick goes all the way to pick off this guy who's right. coming down, you know, so he blocks him here. See, we're getting so complicated. I don't I know. know how they draw this up there. It's unbelievable. This guy came over here, and that tackle took him out. Now, yeah. um, you can see there in our um, photo how that's... That's unbelievable. Th that's how the blocking scheme's going to come. And now, this is what against Detroit now, a very good defense. A very good defense. And you can sort of start to see that alley open up. Now right. look at the next shot, and look, look at, at that. that alley. That's unbelievable. I mean... Look, every single guy's got a block there. It's, it's right. right down there. It's, it's amazing. And again, again, you know, he had over 350 carries. But this got to be one that you draw up and say, guys, it'll work, but it has to be executed properly. It really does. Because they also have a play. They pitch it to him. He runs up, pitch it back to Romo, and this guy fakes like he's going to crack and he goes for a post for a touchdown. Now, Packers have got to be aware of that. But just look at the way their linemen are running now. Everybody's getting on the ball very unselfish. At one point, you see Frederick, you see him sprinting. And he's like, where is he going? Yeah. But when DeMarco Merkel makes this cut, it makes sense. He walls off the defensive backs. It's just a very good design so, play that they'll run against the Packers. Who's the guy who can blow this up on defense if, um, you know, if, if this, they run this? If this Who has to beat his block? This defense end has to beat his block. So that might be Peppers. If he just destroys this receiver, now that toss doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't go. And plus, the Packers may have a nose guard over this guy, over Fredericks. Now he can't just get a free release. Right. Then they have, have to block to cut it him differently. Off. It'd take it differently. But then I think what they'll do is have the guard block back and pull around. Uh -huh. But still, then you got three guys pulling. But still, if the defensive end destroys this play, now it gets all congested. He doesn't get out on the perimeter. He has to cut back right away, and that's where all your pursuit is. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that'll be interesting to see if we see that. It will. Very, Sunday, I think you'll but... see it both sides. They'll flip-flop at a different formation, but that'd be a good bread and butter to show. Okay. Next, we're going to take a look at how to pressure Tony Romo. Uh-oh. Okay, this is a play from the uh, wild card game against the Lions. And yep. this is an example of putting pressure on Tony Romo and how he sometimes does not 
connect when he's under pressure. Yeah, you got to make him think. So go ahead. Why don't you run us through this? I think uh, for the most part, I like this particular blitz. Or it's not really. It's not a blitz. It's just a form of a. Uh, they got to almost like a cover two version, but they walk both linebackers right up in here. Right. And they stayed up in there. They didn't even disguise it. They're just lined They're up there. in there. And for some reason, Tony Romo just kept everything on, and as you'll you see. You can see the, how they're lined up here. Yeah, they're just lined they're, up they're, there. They're threatening. They're not, you know. No, and right as a there. quarterback, you have to just determine if these guys are faking or are they really coming to go right. back for protection. Let's talk about that. So yeah. um, the offensive line typically – um, declares, right? Yeah, you would think. The center would declare if they're going to slide it or what we call a bang it to mean if they bang it, that means big on big, but Tony, there is a free guy and it's your guy. You got to get it out. So you got to get side adjust with your receivers, which right. it didn't do. Now, we'll talk about this later with, with Cole Beasley. He kind of side adjust, but not much. If they bang it, Tom, everybody's big on big, but for some reason, I don't know what call they had on they kind of blew it, but it's up to Tony to get these guys you in the can, right protection. Now, you can kind of see what in this diagram. So the, the two inside linebackers bail out. Yep, they bail out to get underneath help from number two and number and, three. And you see with the two yellow um, uh, lines there, that's who those guys are blocking. Right. They're double teaming the tackles because those two guys bail out and there's nobody else to block. It didn't make sense. And uh, so what does that do? It leaves the two ends. And now you can see from that angle that... They're not even blocked. And you see from nope. the big picture up there, too, that now this is what you pointed out with mm -hmm. this big picture. Who's looking back at Romo right. to, as a hot read, right? And see, that's a side of just to a lot of West Coast uh, formations. They do that to say, listen, if I determine who the mic is or based on this, I'll let you guys know. It doesn't matter what I've called. you got to look inside to cut these routes off or I'm going to get hit. Yeah. But in shotgun, again, they make what we call a bang it call. Okay, great. Big on big, Tony, you got to get the ball out before one of these guys hits you. But guess what, Tom? Both guys came and got a sack a year later. And he fumbled. And he fumbles the ball. And I think Beasley, he, wound, wound he came back to get it. But he ran like a little curl that. And Tony looked at him. You, you see know, he's got his arm cocked. Yeah, I don't know if he, he looked at him. That, but, but, you know, it just didn't it just didn't pull the trigger. But all these guys was running their routes. You know, I mean, not Beasley. But all these guys were just running. They got Escobar in there at the time, and him and Witten double tight end. And Detroit had a great scheme going there. And I mean, you got to tip your hat to the defense. But if you do the numbers, they came out. They only got four guys coming. They got five guys to block. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense. But again, if they make the right call, you got some opportunities down the field. Right. So the Green Bay Packers will blitz Tony Romo. It's up to Tony Romo to get his guys in the right position. But I will say this, Tom, if the Green Bay Packers do blitz him, you got to wait to get 10 seconds on the play clock before you start to move. Don't move until then. Once he gets to 10 seconds, he has to either audible, call timeout, or they're going to get a delay of game. Mm -hmm. If you move with 15 or 20 seconds, kind of moving around, he sees it, he has enough time to get into a right coverage. For I mean, that can beat your coverage. Des Bryant one on one, one of your corners, and you don't want that. Okay. So the the later in the snap you can do it. Yeah. And you're talking about actually moving, not faking. Yeah, I'm saying move it. Move. Yeah. When yeah. You're, when you're moving. Right. Or when it calls for you to move, do it with tons. Yeah. When left. you move, like Ludacris said, when I move, you move. <laughs> Hip hop stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for keeping me up on that. But it's a great play to draw up. I really think the fact that if you look at Washington when he actually hurt his back, right? They brought similar blitzes up the middle, and if Tony had time, he can get him in a different protection. But he didn't. They got a lot of good hits on him. So the Green Packers are going to see that, that. That Washington game sort of set the plan that most teams have followed since then. Just Absolutely. blitz the heck out of the yeah. Cowboys. So yeah. we'll see how the Packers handle it yeah. on Sunday. Thanks for joining us. See you next week.